back to my channel so today i want to do an unboxing with you guys on a Bottega Veneta bag that i've recently purchased actually i've purchased this before christmas as a christmas present for myself but i just didn't have time to film it because lockdown is over here in Australia and because I'm in the beauty industry it has just been crazy busy for me so I finally found the time to do the unboxing with you guys so let's get started I wouldn't really call this an unboxing because there is actually no box that comes with it I'm not sure how it is in your country but um, in Australia BV they don't provide um, the boxes so it comes in a dust bag like this this is really the best dust bag that i have seen from all luxury brands it is so thick and substantial and let's have a look at the pouch ding, ding. it's such a beautiful beautiful like a wine burgundy color and the leather is just so so soft i really love it and you can see there is a chain here looking like this i actually asked the um, sa to tie this knot for me because this knot is actually uh, adjustable so you can really adjust it to the length that you want it to be at so initially i've been eyeing the uh, mini jody for quite a while but eventually i decide to go with this because this is much more versatile you can carry it as a clutch or like a sling and as well as a crossbody where else the mini jody you can only do it at like a hand carry and this one just looks so unique like the shape like a mini dumpling so cute and i was also trying to choose between the uh, loop bag and also the uh, bulb bag but upon trying it on this one it just looks so much better and so much more classy and the shape is just so much more unique so even though it is more expensive i think this is really a very classic bb shape bag that you should get your hands on i actually walked in there wanting to uh, buy something that is a bit more neutral and a little bit more like a nude color but they have sold out all the nude colors and only left with this one and like a green one and the green one I just think is way too flashy so this one is like a really nice um, like it just looks so classy and sexy so I don't have any bags that is in this color so I just decide to get this instead and it's really been growing on me this color and one more thing to note about BB bags is that when you first purchased it you might find like little creases like this and also the uh, leather lifting up like this it lifts more when you just purchased it and when I asked the SA about it he mentioned that because all these are individually handmade it is um, unavoidable that there might be creases like this because each individual leather is different but as you use it more of your hands to so touch it more the leather will soften over time and all the um, lifted leathers will kind of like become smoother and and will blend in more nicely together with the bag it is not something that bothers me but if you're like really anal about you know brand new looking bags um, perfect looking leather then BB might not be an option for you um, I actually bought another wallet that day as well and that wallet has even more creases as compared to this one another thing that I really like about this is that I think it is really like friendly for petite girls so I'm 165 and when I adjust this to like almost the longest length and when I wear it crossbody it rests really nicely on my hips and it can really be um, adjusted into like even shorter lengths if you are of like a shorter height so all in all I've been really enjoying using this bag it just screams luxury without having logos and things I will do another detailed review very soon on what fit and you know how the quality of the leather is so if you're interested please subscribe and I will keep you guys updated thank you for watching bye